Developments in the Supreme Court and Senate could potentially change the way Wisconsin's district maps are drawn as soon as next year. Our political reporter Darielle Fair has you covered on Senate committee hearing that took place earlier today on this issue. The redistricting bill received its first public hearing in, the Senate, on a, in a Senate committee on elections. Republicans in the assembly introduced the legislation in September, moving forward with a vote and no formal hearing on the legislation. The bill adopts Iowa's model for redistricting, excluding a provision that would allow the Supreme Court to take action if the legislature could not agree on maps drawn by a nine-partisan board. Assembly Speaker Va Robin Voss said that the legislation has an alternative to conversations on impeaching Wisconsin's newly elected Supreme Court Justice Janet Protasiewicz and a lawsuit challenging the state's district maps. The bill before you today is actually better than the Iowa model because working with Democrats and accepting Democrat amendments and ultimately at the end of the day passing the bill in a bipartisan form. A brief filed by Governor Tony Evers and Attorney General Josh Call called for the Supreme Court to declare the state's maps unconstitutional. The state's district maps have remained a hot topic as the 2024 election season approaches. The Senate has not scheduled a vote on the bill yet, but that could happen in the coming weeks.